At some point in time, we've all forgotten who we were. Using the tactics of escapism and attempting to blend in with the societal norm have made us all worse. We can't always blame society though. Sometimes we have to look in the mirror and ask ourselves why we constantly neglect who we truly are. I can't say how many times I felt this way. Like I was winning while everything and everyone around me was losing. You can never truly win or feel free if others are struggling because our connection with each other as a people is one band, one sound. And although we have our own individual lives we have to take care of, it's only natural for us to separate ourselves from the world and people that we personally don't know. But hearing the news of others being harmed, robbed, murdered, and even our home being destroyed takes a toll on our mental collectively. It's a constant battle, but we try to enjoy ourselves, numb the pain. And if you don't want it, they got a problem with you. As if we weren't gifted with our own individuality. As if their reality is my reality. We all have different points of views, different perspectives. And if only we'd honor this, peace would be easier to connect with. It's okay to agree to disagree. We won't always agree on everything. But one of the keys to effective communication is mutual respect. Everyone wants you to think how they think and do what they say. I won't subject to neither, so I'll stay out the way. Did I forget who I am? Chasing gold. We're all interconnected, but we're all separate. Our individuality depends on us to create a better world for the future generations ahead. But instead, we are stuck in a whirlwind, going in circles, trying to act indifferent toward one another, all while ironically forcing each other to function as a robotic society with a lack of separation of thought. Circles.